People see farming and it's dirty jobs, tired jobs, but the employment, the opportunities that agriculture can offer is unlimited. Explore it, do work with it, but you have to learn the basics. Good thing about agrobus, we learn the basic knowledge of how to manage the farm, what to expect, and learn about the business, learn about the cash flow. I come to Meteo Agrobis thanks to Life Warrior Jua. They have a program to produce uh, agropreneurs, focus on paddy planting, cash crops. My background is civil engineer. I worked for Shell for 15 years. I was listening to TV a Tita from His Majesty, urging for us Bruneians to do farming. I resigned in 2009 and then I never look back. I was involved in opening of Batong, Junjungan Pancur Murai, Sungai Lalit, Labi also. I was everywhere. I think 85% of paddy fields, I have a footsteps there. Agrobis, it is handled both with IBT and us Agrobis. IBT is more focused on the theoretical. When they were us, it's going to be a practical approach or what they learn in the classroom and that they will apply it. BSP and Life Warrior, the investment they make is the best machinery that you could have in paddy planting. We have our own combined vertical dryer, we have our own mill, we have our own machinery. Agrozip is technically the first graduate to set up their own company. We are a team of four, Dila Wokyudin, Lisa Masturina, Iqmal Atika and myself to set up this farm. I was studying in Wasan, IBTE Agrotechnology. The Agrobis program came after a year I enrolled in the school. Haji Arini organized a talk in the school. He told us about what exactly Agrobis program is. It's not just rice farming. We are also learning about cash crop in Agrobis. There are many people, the specialists from Malaysia, taught us all the technical stuff. Life Warrior, we involved in the business, how we can financially manage our business. They taught us how to plant chili, rice, rock melon. So we also study them as well. We have formed Agrozit during our study because Life Warrior, they taught us how to form a business. We started in December 1st, 2021. The farmer in this property cannot sustain because of the lack of manpower during COVID. So he offered us that we can continue the business here with chili farming. There are 1,260 polybags of chili. We are using a drip irrigation system with an injector that can produce around 3 kilos per plant every six months. Within those six months, we have to prepare for a month or two and then grow it for three months and then another month for it to rest. The farm is roughly 2.5 acres. We are using approximately 0.5 acres. It can be up to 40,000 polybags. Our target within this two years, so we want to plant at least 10,000 plants. The system is using a fertigation system where you can control the fertilizer, the watering, be much, much uh, easier, more economical. Everyone loves love chili and it's easy to maintain, but you have to learn uh, to, be, to make it easy. I was amazed, I said, I, can, I didn't expect that you do this best, uh, first planting. I'm really proud of them, the commitment, their sustainability. I urge the youngsters in Brunei, there's still a lot of vacant lands to be explored. Jawatan Pertanian have the programs uh, and um, will give the opportunity uh, to do skin. Like me, I left my comfortable office job, do Pertanian and never look back. I don't regret it.